One furlong to go. Palace Malice on his way now to a three-length lead. Leaving Hightail, Apex, and all the rest behind. Coming down to the finish, it will be Palace Malice here. Who wins emphatically. Palace Malice's maiden score came in his second career start. He hasn't won a race since then, but has been knocking at the door, and the Dogwood Stable team is hoping he'll blossom on the first Saturday in May. His final derby prep in the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes indicated he may be on the verge of a breakthrough. He ran a solid second to Java's War, securing enough points to earn a ticket in the derby starting gate. A major part of the Palace Malice story is Dogwood founder Todd Campbell. The pioneer of thoroughbred racing partnerships Scott knew early on that Palace Malice was a horse who could make some noise. He trained awfully well and uh, I think always touted himself. Uh, from the very beginning, he's acted like a good horse. In fact, in his uh, early training days before he ran, we got a couple of substantial offers for him and uh, that's always a good indicator. When Palace Malice runs on Derby Day, he'll be doing so under a new jockey. Hall of Famer Mike Smith, the man who rode Giacomo to the Roses in the 2005 Derby. There is actually a Derby strategy for me, and it, it, again, it, it's getting away good, clean, a, a little aggressive leaving there, and then letting the horse find his rhythm. And that's another Kentucky Derby profile.